Hello, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Politecnico di Milano Campus Bovisa. Uh, my name is Lamberto Duo, and uh, I am de uh, Director's Delegate for Education and Counseling. And uh, on behalf of the Director, uh, I must say that we are very proud to host here in our university the Open Educational Global Conference coming for the first time in Italy. So thank you to be here. Uh, we strong. We, st we strongly believe uh, here at the Politecnico that uh, open education is a very uh, an important key driver of quality and innovation. It fosters sharing, exchanging, peer reviewing, and peer learning, both for students and for teachers. And sharing uh, and collaborating are great boosters uh, for the growth of the quality of educational contents and also innovation in, in put in practice. Uh, the title of this conference, uh, uh, Open Education for an Open Future, remarks how the responsibility of education, and particularly higher education, the one that we do here in the universities, is not focused on today, but on tomorrow. And we need to keep a perspective view, uh, focus on the future, for the future of youngsters, and the future of local and national communities, the future of our global community. To be open is the only chance that we have to make knowledge development and knowledge spreading sustainable and effective. Nowadays, we need this more than anything else, both in research and also in education. Uh, in this perspective, it is fundamental that educational institutions play their role along with national and international uh, institutions and bodies. This is why, with great pleasure, I wish all of you a good job and a great success with this conference, with Open Education and with its contributions for the future of, of, of our young people and all of us. Thank you very much again and enjoy the conference. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Milano. I'm Paul Stacey, the Executive Director of the Open Education Consortium, and it's really our delight to be co-hosting with Politecnico de Milano this event, which is a global convening of open educators from around the world. And as you've seen on the slides projected on the big screen, this event really is a huge team effort involving a lot of people, and I wanted to put up on the screen the faces of the people that are involved in, in preparing and running an event like this. And, uh, and just give a shout out and some thanks to everyone from the conference chairs, to the program, to our amazing program chair. Um, the, the team here at Politecnico de Milano has been just fantastic to work with and they've been uh, really gracious and generous with, uh, with working with us. And also my whole team, the Open Education Consortium staff are here and they too are just uh, hugely devoted to this uh, event and have put in uh, countless hours of effort in supporting it. And I also think that you should note that there are peer reviewers, we have an open journal publisher and an editor who's involved, there are sponsors and for the first year we tried um, raising some funds from donors and so thank you all of you who have donated funds, and as you probably have seen on the slide about that, your donations have helped us support 14 other people coming to this event. And, and of course, all of you who are willingly uh, sharing and presenting your work with colleagues from around the world. Um, I, I, I actually um, am pleased this year at the diversity of sessions. Uh, we have over uh, people presenting from over 40 different countries. Um, I'm also thrilled this year at the more interactive format for this event, so you'll find that this event is not just uh, plenary sessions like this and presentations, but we have action labs and world cafes happening. Um, I'm also really thrilled that the, uh, the conference is taking place on a campus in the middle of students uh, going to class, so you'll, you'll see students uh, intermixing with us as we go about this, this event, and I think that's really helpful for us to keep 
our focus on who open education is ultimately for. And I'm especially pleased that we've been able to actually involve so many students. We have some students coming up as part of the first keynote, so thank you very much. And there are other students that some of you have brought with you as buddies because we enabled a kind of bring a student uh, process as part of the registration for this event. So uh, fantastic to have so many students involved. I also want to mention that um, we're experimenting a little bit with space at this event too. So some of the uh, activities like World Cafes and Action Labs are going to take place actually in big open corridors. So we're really trying to encourage some experimentation, some dialogue, and some, uh, some co-construction of the future of open education. Um, Christy's going to talk about the program for today, but I just want to highlight a couple of things. One is, at the end of uh, today, there's a session on the award winners. As you probably all know, the Open Education Consortia gives out awards every year for people who are doing exceptional work in open education, and uh, many of the award winners are actually here. And so I really want to invite you to come and acknowledge their amazing work. And um, all of the ones that are here are also giving lightning talks. Um, so I encourage you to check those out. Um, and then following that, there will be an opening reception at La Triennale. So uh, please come to that. Um, and then just over the next three days, I hope that you'll join me in making this an event um, where uh, we have kind of open hearts and open minds that come together for uh, creating open education for an open future and have fun and be kind. Buongiorno. <laughs> Good. A warm welcome from uh, me too. Um, we live in very challenging times and I don't think that's just politically. Um, but with challenges come opportunities. And I think the open education community is embracing these opportunities. And that's why we are here. Uh, our conference theme is Open Education for an Open Future. Thank you for embracing it all. Thank you for being here, sharing your work so openly um, with everybody, with the wider communities. As you can see on the slide, um, we have received many, many um, contributions and have 144 sessions with a variety of formats, as Paul already mentioned. We would like to thank all the people who have been uh, involved with uh, reviewing uh, and organizing everything here at uh, Polimi as well, the Open Education Conference. And I wouldn't be here um, if I didn't have Paula's uh, in kind invitations. So we'll have a range of um, formats, um, as Paul already mentioned. And please remember during lunchtime, there are poster presentations happening today tomorrow and on Thursday. And also during lunch, there's an opportunity to meet the penguin. <laughs> this is the GoGN penguin, and we have Rob Farrow. Rob is in the room. This is a wonderful community, a very supportive global community for doctoral students in open education. So if you would like to find out more, or are one of um, the PhD students at the moment, or alumni, please come and join us. You will see the penguin uh, and Rob, uh, and I will be around as well, uh, because I'm one of the alumni. So we would also like to thank all the, the chairs, and we had 24 plus three, actually, <laughs> chairs who volunteered. And there's a warning that we, uh, in the Action Labs today, don't actually have any chairs, but we hope you will manage. Will you? Yes? yes? yes. Where's Igor? He's not here. Ah, oh, there he is. Yes, you worried, Igor, but I'm sure we will be okay. So just keep to the time. Um, we have a full program today um, and throughout the keynotes you have seen uh, already. 
And um, today's program is with uh, Dr. Brigitte Blassi. We'll, we'll start in a bit from the National Agency for Evaluation of the University and uh, Research Systems. We'll have our very own Paula here with uh, her lovely students talking uh, about their work and their stories in open education, which is wonderful. We have loads of presentations and lightning talks and action labs, like we said. And when we were actually starting to put some first ideas together for the program, uh, we wanted to be a bit radical and get rid of presentations altogether, but we didn't do that in the end. <laughs> but it's good to see that we have a range of, um, of talks and, and contributions. So, grazie mille to, to all of you for sharing your work with the wider community, uh, for being here, for traveling to, to uh, Milan and being with us all. Thank you to all the reviewers, the Open Education Consortium for giving us this opportunity, for all the session chairs, the sponsors, of course, the team at Polimi, all the students, and Paula. Like I said, I wouldn't be here uh, without her. She actually refused to dance when we were in uh, South Africa. <laughs> Uh, and now here I am, when she asked me, are you going to chair that conference? <laughs> I said, actually, yes. So <laughs> I'm just going to, to finish with something I, I read very recently. And that's from a book about picture books. You might think, what has that to do with open education? But the inspiration often comes from very diverse places. Wonder happens automatically when you try something new. Visit a just opened museum. Walk through an unfamiliar neighborhood. Try a foreign food. Be open to everything around you. Enjoy the conference. <laughs> Susanna Sankaskani is going to introduce our keynotes. Thank you. So, hi, hi everybody. Uh, please take just a second for consider yourself very, very lucky. You have done it? Good. Because uh, this is the first sunny day we had uh, <laughs> in the last month, so we have a sunny day for the beginning of this conference. It's a great thing for us. Very well. So, uh, first, uh, thank you, thank you very much uh, to all the board of directors of Open Education Consortium and to Christine Ranzi. We have uh, learned a lot by interacting with you uh, in organizing uh, this uh, conference, and we are very, very, very happy to host it for the first time in Italy. Um, I am the managing director of METID, that's uh, the teaching learning task force of Politecnico di Milano. So it's a great opportunity for us to uh, know all of you and uh, to have uh, good opportunities for share and uh, discuss. So I uh, have the honor to uh, introduce uh, our uh, first uh, keynote. Uh, why we have uh, uh, invited uh, uh, Dr. Brigida Blasi as a first uh, keynote? Because uh, open education is a very strategic uh, aspect, not just for education itself, but in general, for the impact of our university to our societies. We strongly believe that open education is a key strategy for foster the integration between universities and our social and economics context. That's uh, why uh, we have invited uh, Dr. Bij Dablasi, that's in charge, about the evaluation of the third mission, the so-called third mission. You know the first mission is education, the second mission is research, the third mission is the relationship with the uh, global society of the university. And as you know, uh, the uh, institution that are the institutions that are in charge of evaluating the uh, educational system and universities in particular have uh, the great power and also the great responsibility to orient the policies and the actions of universities. So they are a very relevant actor. I am very happy to leave the floor to Brigida Blasi, please. <laughs> 